What is up, Guardians? Dragar Evil Bane here, and I'm back to talk about the Frostmire Hex Scout Rifle. Now, this is the new Iron Banner Scout Rifle, fashioned after the Black Scorpion Legendary Scout Rifle. If you've seen my videos, I did a weapon review over the Black Scorpion. I'm going to be comparing both of them in this video, so let's jump right into it. All right, so as you can see here, we have the Frostmire Hex Scout Rifle, the new Iron Banner one. It has Full auto, of course. It has corkscrew rifling, arrowhead brake, fluted barrel. It also has high caliber rounds, which is what makes this gun so great. Extended mag, and of course the worthless perk, Dragonfly. Alright, so let's go over and take a look at the hidden stats for the Frostmire's Hex. It has 20 zoom, and the aim assist is at 72, which is pretty damn good for a gun like this. And the recoil direction is 56. Now... With a comparison between the Frostmire Hex and the Black Scorpion, you can see that they're both fairly similar. The Frostmire Hex has quite a bit more aim assist, which I think is what makes this gun so good. The almost 20 points of aim assist better than the Black Scorpion. The recoil direction is a little bit lower. Uh, pretty much everything else is the same. It does have a, a slightly smaller magazine, but I mean it reloads so fast you're not going to really notice too much of a difference. The uh, stability is just a slightly bit less than the Black Scorpion, but the range is, you know, it's pretty decently more. But comparing both of these, the Frostmire Hex with the high caliber rounds, I feel like my engagements are won a lot more often with the Black Scorpion, plus, you know, with the uh, aim assist. So overall, I'm going to have to give it to the Frostmire Hex. The higher aim assist and the high caliber rounds and the slightly more range definitely gives it a one up on the black scorpion so if you have a chance and you've gotten it definitely give it a shot if you're tired of the meta like i am and as long as you know what you're doing and you're hitting your shots which with the frostmire sex you shouldn't be having any problems hitting your shots you'll definitely be out shooting the you know uriel's gift and the positive outlook and things like that you know things for too far range you're most likely not going to win your engagements against like the mita but in my opinion, it's definitely a competitive weapon, so if you've gotten it with the last Iron Banner, definitely give it a shot, have some fun with it, and you might actually enjoy it. That's it for me, guys. I'm out. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. If you like the video, hit that like button also. It helps me out a lot. I'll catch you guys next time. As one, I love it. Yo!